welcome everyone at uh, our weekly, weekly colloquium. Our speaker today is uh, uh, Dr. Jacek Wojtkiewicz from the Department for Mathematical Methods in Physics, uh, Faculty of Physics, University of Warsaw. So Dr. Wojtkiewicz obtained his uh, PhD around 30 years ago in a Zakład Fizyki Theoretycznej, which uh, is now, of course, called Center yeah. for Theoretical Physics. Uh, Polish Academy of Sciences, and uh, the supervisor of his uh, thesis was uh, Professor Kijowski. His scientific interests uh, cover mainly statistical mechanics, uh, in particular analysis of spe specific models such as Heisenberg, Hubbard, and Ising model. There is uh, also a mysterious relation between Ising model and Riemann hypothesis, uh, which is the subject of this talk. And Dr. Wojtkiewicz promised to say a few words about this connection during this talk. Okay, so the screen is yours, uh, please. Uh, okay, so well, thank you very much for, <coughs> for um, uh, invitation for, for this uh, seminar. And um, uh, rough plan of this seminar will, uh, will be a few words about the distribution of primes uh, um, among natural numbers then how this distribution of primes is related to zeta Riemann uh, function. Uh, and mine, um, part of, uh, of my talk will be presentation of uh, Riemann paper and argumentation, uh, how these two objects are related in uh, each, uh, each other and uh, how Riemann hypothesis appears in, uh, in this context. Uh, and a uh, few words about uh, relation of Riemann hypothesis to uh, uh, physics. Uh, okay, uh, to make uh, some uh, introduction into uh, subject of primes, uh, in Polish there are liczby pierwsze. Uh, this is tale taken from a sposób na Alcibiadesa, a book written by uh, Edmund Niziurski about 70. Uh, years ago. Uh, the action of uh, this book uh, take uh, place in uh, Jolibosz, uh, near the um, uh, house of most important uh, men in um, Poland now. Uh, and um, the heroes of this book are um, teenagers in uh, uh, 14 or uh, 15 years. Uh, and uh, there are very, uh, there were very lazy, uh, but uh, in eighth class, uh, new stuff uh, appeared, and uh, they uh, noticed that uh, they are completely um, uh, down in mathematics. Uh, and uh, Dziadzia, Professor Ejatowicz, a professor of mathematics in this school, uh, asked one of these uh, guys, Penzelkiewicz, to present uh, his uh, knowledge. Uh, so uh, Penzelkiewicz was uh, taken to Blackboard and uh, Dziadzia forced him to write a few subsequent uh, primes in Polish, pięć kolejnych liczb pierwszych. Uh, this is a uh, game of words in Polish. Liczba pierwsza has um, uh, means about uh, the first number and, and prime. And this is you know, such uh, uh, opportunity in, in English. Uh, for context, uh, it was uh, completely clear, uh, but Penzelkiewicz was, uh, didn't know what was, um, uh, prime is and, and wrote one, two, three, four, five. Uh, Jaja asked, uh, do you really uh, assert that all these uh, numbers are primes? Uh, no, no, but, but which? Uh, one, two, said Penzelkiewicz and, and stopped. Then Jaja laughed and wrote two, three, um, five, seven, uh, eleven. And do you agree now that these are primes? Uh, uh, but Penzel didn't agree and said that uh, number 11 is the last number. Okay. Uh, but uh, this is another auditory and uh, I'm sure that everybody knows what is um, uh, prime. 
and uh, we can uh, look, uh, this is very old um, problem, uh, how primes are distributed among other naturals. Um, and uh, if you look at uh, some sample, uh, the uh, primes are distributed in very irregular manner. So this is example of uh, of a plot for natural numbers from zero to hundred. Pi of x is a number of primes not uh, greater than uh, than uh, x. If, if you uh, larger the scale, uh, you uh, obtain that it is uh, some um, uh, roughly smooth uh, functions. Uh, function. Uh, so uh, one can hope that for large n, uh, it would be possible to find asymptotic of their distribution. Oh, uh, and it is uh, uh, it turns out to be to be true and uh, one uh, and first of, of such um, uh, the theorems was so-called prime number theorem uh, which assert, uh, uh, asserts that pi of x uh, behaves for large x as um, quotient x divided by logarithm of x. And moreover, um, this quotient uh, in the limit of x um, tending to infinity is equal to uh, 1. Uh, approach to 1 is, uh, is not so fast, but uh, limit is equal to uh, 1. Uh, this prime number um, theorem uh, appeared, um, these guys, uh, Euler, Gauss, Lejeune, uh, Chebyshev, uh, in less or uh, uh, did know about it in more uh, or less general, in most more or um, larger or general form. Uh, but uh, um, uh, at, uh, but first rigorous proof of this appeared uh, only at the end of uh, 19th uh, century, independently by Adamar and de la Vallée-Poussin. Uh, further, there uh, were found um, more uh, exact, uh, more precise approximants. Uh, so, uh, for instance, uh, red is pi of x, uh, mm, green is this first approximate, uh, approximant x divided by log x, it is green, and blue is uh, uh, integral uh, uh, logarithm, uh, integral of dt uh, divided by log uh, t. Uh, so it is clear that um, these are some approximants. Uh, Riemann uh, uh, obtained an um, expression which uh, approximates pi of x in a much more precise manner. I will say about it um, later. Uh, Riemann make breakthrough in uh, obtaining uh, um, expression for pi um, uh, of x. Uh, it is, um, as far as I know, uh, only um, his paper devoted to um, uh, number theory. It, uh, it is uh, eight page uh, paper entitled on the number of primes less than a given magnitude from about uh, half of uh, 19th uh, century. Uh, and uh, in his consideration, uh, uh, the um, zeta function plays a um, crucial role. Uh, one can say a few uh, biographic um, informations about um, uh, Riemann. Uh, let me concentrate an, uh, on another uh, aspect of, uh, of his um, uh, work, uh, namely uh, bibliometric aspect. Uh, collected papers of Riemann is contained in one uh, single volume. 
whereas uh, for Gauss it is 14 volumes, Euler about 90 volumes. So uh, in general, achievements possess a rather weak uh, connection with uh, a volume of, of work. Because in my opinion, one cannot say that one of these three guys was more, gen uh, were more uh, genial than uh, another. All uh, of three was, uh, were geniuses. Uh, OK. Passing to the, so let us pass now to the zeta uh, function. Uh, S is uh, in general a complex variable, and it is possible to write down uh, uh, the first definition of zeta will be uh, represent it as uh, a series. Uh, sum of over natural numbers, um, uh, one over n to s power. S is uh, a complex number such that uh, real part of S is greater than one. And uh, uh, so this mm -hmm. uh, sum, uh, this series is um, converted. Uh, from simple facts uh, of uh, in uh, complex analysis, it is clear that uh, zeta is analytic function, and it is uh, uh, possible to make um, analytical prolongation to whole um, complex plane with except uh, some isolated um, uh, points. Uh, I will say uh, for a while about it. Uh, which is relation between primes and zeta. The first uh, track in this uh, direction was uh, made by Euler, who proved uh, Euler product uh, formula, namely that uh, this uh, uh, series uh, zeta is uh, uh, equal to product over all primes, p is uh, prime, one over one min minus one over p to s power. Uh, the proof is uh, uh, tricky but uh, simple, namely uh, one uses a formula for geometric series and basic uh, theorem of arithmetic uh, and uh, compare uh, and one um, can compare both sides and uh, they are identical so we have this uh, equality. Uh, uh, Next step uh, uh, for Riemann was uh, obtaining more um, convenient formula for zeta. It is uh, uh, so, in the other words, it is obtaining of, um, prolong of analytic prolongation of um, uh, zeta. Uh, so, uh, Riemann de derives uh, integral formula for zeta, which uh, is the same for uh, S such that real of S is greater than one, uh, and, but it is defined on the whole, uh, whole uh, C. Uh, so it is analytical prolongation of, uh, of zeta. And this expression is given by um, integral in the complex plane uh, over uh, curve gamma of, of this function, minus z to power s minus 1 divided by e to z minus 1, uh, times uh, gamma function and over gamma, which is uh, contained of uh, of uh, three parts, or of, of course, it, it, because it is um, analytic, it, it uh, can be uh, deformed this contour to. Uh, uh, we have uh, in, in more convenient manner if you want. Uh, but this uh, original gamma is uh, half uh, half axis on real, then a circle of um, uh, surrounding zero and return to infinity uh, along um, the real axis. Uh, and it uh, turns out also by not uh, complicated by tricky 
uh, analysis of this expression uh, that this formula defines uh, complex analyt analytic function on the whole C without uh, exception of S uh, equal to one. And there is a simple pole in this uh, point. Uh, having this expression, one can uh, derive some uh, properties of uh, Xi, in particular uh, by using relation with um, um, Bernoulli numbers, one obtains uh, ex uh, uh, some zeros of, uh, of uh, zeta. Uh, and uh, these are trivial zeros of uh, zeta. Uh, then uh, it turns out also that we have, uh, uh, one can look at this equality as a functional equation for zeta, that uh, uh, zeta of s is equal to zeta of one minus s uh, times uh, some given function, gamma, uh, power function, and, uh, and uh, sine. Uh, the motivation for, the, for such uh, the step is that uh, uh, Zeta is not free of singularities, for instance, it has pole at uh, S1. But if you um, mul multiply uh, zeta by uh, such uh, factors, uh, you obtain psi function, and uh, it, uh, it turns out that it is uh, analytic uh, function yet in the whole plane. So in the other words, it, it is an entire function. And uh, this uh, uh, function, this functional equation for uh, zeta uh, can be rewritten as uh, functional equation for psi. Uh, xi of s is equal to psi of one minus s. Uh, <clears throat> so uh, because it is um, yet uh, entire function, it, uh, you can obtain, uh, you can um, uh, uh, make um, you can write uh, down Taylor uh, expansion Taylor series of uh, xi and Riemann obtained um, expression for xi of s as a power series in this s minus one half to, to only uh, even powers and <coughs> with uh, ex um, explicit um, tricky by explicit expression uh, to a uh, for coefficients of, of this. Riemann uh, then uh, uh, said that uh, this series <coughs> so, uh, converges very rapidly. Uh, uh, and this property of, of this series, uh, uh, from this property, it follows that uh, Xi of S can be represented in the product form. Uh, product uh, um, over rho, where rho are zeros of um, uh, of uh, uh, psi function, or equivalently also zeta uh, function. Uh, the justification of this uh, of uh, these steps uh, by Riemann are very sketchy and uh, only uh, and full proof of, of this uh, uh, assertion was given by Adamar uh, about uh, 40 years um, later. So we have a natural uh, question, how these roots are distributed on the complex plane? Riemann, observation, uh, Riemann observed that there is no roots for S such real of S is um, greater or um, greater than one. Uh, it is justified by um, Euler product formula and uh, looking at uh, condition for convergence or divergence of this uh, formula. Um, then from the functional of for uh, xi, uh, this is uh, the, the equation number six. Uh, it is also, um, <coughs> we have also property that uh, 
there are no roots in the left half uh, plane uh, uh, for s uh, less than zero. Not, not s, but a real of s is less than zero. So we have corollary. Uh, first, um, uh, information about distribution of zeros that all the roots of uh, equation psi of x uh, is equal to zero are located in the vertical strip uh, between um, zero and one. Uh, okay, what about more precise um, uh, distribution of uh, zeros? Riemann uh, obtained also uh, uh, further information, namely that number of roots uh, with uh, imaginary part between zero and t, so in the rectangular of, uh, of height of, of t, is of the order t times log t uh, with, with some factors, uh, minus, uh, minus t and relative error of this, uh, of this expression. And uh, general custom of uh, Riemann in, in this paper, uh, Riemann left details for the reader, but certainly he uh, overestimated uh, most of reader's abilities as first proof of, of this expression uh, was obtained again uh, about uh, half of a century later by von Mangold. And <coughs> Riemann gave also strong statement yet without proof namely that number of zero not only with is, uh, 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 within this rectangular but uh, also on vertical line uh, uh, where real part of this uh, vertical uh, line is uh, one half also is of the order of of this so uh, so of this order and this uh, statement is not proven so far. And <clears throat> uh, here appears the Riemann conjecture. Riemann formulates it in the half of sentence. And it is very likely that all these roots are real. All these roots, uh, he meant that roots of uh, equation psi of one half plus it. Uh, is equal to zero, so uh, that t uh, is uh, is, uh, is is purely real. Uh, so not only asymptotic, but that uh, also all um, these roots uh, are lying on the uh, vertical line. Riemann uh, wrote further the following. One would, of course, like to have a rigorous proof of this. But I have put aside the search of, uh, for such a proof after some fleeting vain attempts, because it is not necessary for uh, the immediate uh, objective of investigation. Uh, the main objective of uh, investigation is uh, finding of pi of x, uh, pi of n um, in this terminology. Uh, so uh, finding an expression for the number of primes in the interval between one of uh, one uh, to n. Uh, okay, and uh, this is um, <coughs> and uh, uh, the Riemann conjecture formulated in uh, nineteen. Uh, um, 59, as far as I know, is a conjecture up to now. Perhaps it is another uh, situation recently, but uh, it is not, not clear. I will uh, say a few words uh, at the end on this. Uh, some aspects of um, uh, distribution of, of zero, that all of them are uh, zeros, uh, that all zeros are located on vertical line, that it is one of the millennium problems 
<coughs> with a price uh, of uh, uh, one million dollars for a proof. I don't know if is uh, also um, uh, I don't know exact statement. It is uh, also a million dollars for this proof. Uh, and um, uh, there appear uh, regular, uh, quite regularly uh, false uh, proofs. Uh, and uh, another aspect that there are a number, uh, quite a numerous partial results. Uh, a result which is uh, achievable for, say, students of, of physics or mathematics is uh, exercise um, uh, is result by Hardy. Uh, exactly uh, 100 years ago, that the equation has infinitely many real roots. Uh, it is a weaker statement because uh, does not uh, states that all uh, roots are uh, real, which uh, would be, of course, the content of um, uh, Riemann conjecture. Uh, if you are more interested in the subject, you can uh, find uh, it as a problem in Whitaker and Watson uh, book on the analysis. Okay, uh, so <coughs> this is um, uh, this is situation with Riemann uh, conjecture, and but not the end of Riemann paper. Uh, what Riemann um, did further. Riemann, uh, 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 in order to find a pi of uh, expression for pi of x, uh, uh, trans uh, Riemann transforms uh, uh, expression for uh, zeta function, uh, not quite yet, but about zeta, original function, as a certain integral over the x, uh, uh, x to minus s minus one time uh, function j of x. And j of x is a certain um, number theoretic function, which is defined as uh, follows that j of, of zero is zero and uh, j of x uh, is um, uh, for natural numbers uh, increases by jump uh, of one at prime p by one half f uh, at square of prime p square and in general uh, by one of n as um, uh, nth power of prime uh, p of n uh, and between this um, uh, uh, jumps uh, the, the function j of x is uh, constant. We have explicit uh, function for uh, for j function, and uh, this is a um, plot of uh, of uh, j for uh, uh, for few uh, arguments. So we have a jump uh, one 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 half one one for six it is zero one over three for for eight and so on. <coughs> and uh, after some, again, in principle, uh, the, uh, by a simple means, but highly non-trivial calculations, uh, Riemann expresses j of x in terms of zeros of uh, zeta function. Uh, non-trivial, I mean, non-trivial non zeros. And his uh, finite, uh, uh, final result is j, that j of x is lie of x. It is um, uh, integral logarithm uh, plus some given integral plus uh, uh, minus uh, logarithm of uh, xi of, of, at, at zero. And uh, this last term is uh, sum over all non-trivial zeros. <coughs> this is a um, lie of uh, x to the uh, power of uh, rho and minus rho. This series in only um, conditionally convergent, so it is necessary to uh, 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 write it uh, in, in this uh, manner. 
Uh, okay, and it is not too far to Riemann uh, ultimate goal, namely the uh, formula for pi of x. Namely, uh, this is uh, um, these are uh, both uh, number theoretic functions and uh, j and pi, and it is uh, um, f not too complicated to find uh, relation between them. Namely, that j of x is equal to pi of uh, x plus one half pi of square root of x plus and so on plus one over n um, pi of uh, x to uh, square root of degree n from from x. Uh, it is uh, in fact not a series but a finite uh, expression. This uh, uh, expression terminates at uh, uh, after a finite number of of uh, terms. Uh, it can be derived by uh, uh, taking closer look for uh, j of uh, of x. Uh, and <coughs> uh, it is um, possible to invert relation between uh, j and pi. Uh, dlaczego, is... Przepraszam, dlaczego uh, to jest, uh, why is it finite expression? Uh, it is, previous... yeah. Okay, it is finite expression be because uh, x. Uh, ah, okay, okay, okay. okay. Uh -huh. I understand, but please explain. In the finite number of steps, you obtain that x is less than two, and yeah, yeah, so. Yeah. Okay. Uh, of course, of course. Excuse. Me. Okay. Uh, and it is uh, possible to invert, and this inversion is uh, uh, called a Möbius inversion formula. Uh, pi of x is j of x plus, minus one half j of square root of uh, x, uh, and so on. Uh, it looks uh, like um, it is similar expression as uh, uh, J of x in terms of pi, but uh, with uh, some um, combination of um, um, pluses and minuses and and zero. Uh, so uh, the finite uh, finite formula for pi. I perhaps I will not write uh, it uh, in uh, uh, explicit manner. It, it would be a huge uh, formula, but the uh, principle is, is clear now that you have J, uh, ex explicit expression for J. It is uh, J, it is, uh, it is uh, here. And uh, you have uh, here uh, sum of j's at uh, specific values of uh, x to uh, square root of x um, uh, and uh, root of uh, x to minus uh, to one third and and so on. Uh, so uh, we have explicit uh, formula for pi of x. Uh, given by, uh, and in this uh, um, formula, uh, zeros of, um, of uh, zeta function uh, appears. Uh, so it is uh, for, for the illustration, uh, we, have, uh, we have such, uh, um, we have uh, such uh, plots uh, given perhaps I, I I would like to uh, magnify this uh, this uh, plot uh, uh, I don't know how uh, but but I, I hope that it is uh, even in this uh, form it is um, uh, this uh, you can you can uh, say what is um, in, in this plot. Uh, this uh, plot uh, it is um, this step function in in blue is uh, pi of x, and this is um, approximate for uh, pi of x uh, given um, where in expression for j uh, these are only five zeros of um, uh, Riemann uh, zeta. 
so it is quite a good approximation, but uh, but we, we have some uh, rather um, gentle uh, behavior. Uh, more uh, steep like function is obtained for uh, 20 zeros. Here uh, we have 50 zeros <coughs> and uh, yet uh, it is 100 uh, zeros, uh, so it is. Uh, it looks uh, like quite a, a close uh, approximation for for pi of x. So these are um, uh, approximants uh, for um, uh, for pi of x, uh, which I uh, said on on the beginning. Okay, uh, so. Uh, summary of, sec of a second uh, part of, uh, of my uh, talk uh, that uh, I have uh, pre presented here Riemann, uh, Riemann uh, arguments. Uh, all of these arguments are uh, uh, rather simple, uh, not demanding for uh, deep uh, analysis uh, and in the same time are very smart. Uh, so to basic understand of, of, of this of all these arguments it is uh, uh, sufficient knowledge um, in the framework of uh, standard course of uh, analysis uh, on the uh, faculty of, of physics uh, full proofs are uh, slightly harder uh, Riemann uh, left uh, numerous gaps in uh, proofs uh, and most of gaps uh, has been filled about uh, half a century uh, ago, not, not all in particular Riemann uh, hypothesis. Uh, these proofs are also tricky, but also don't need uh, too advanced analysis. Uh, and uh, some aspect that distribution of primes and Riemann hypothesis are uh, closely related, uh, namely for more precise asymptotics of uh, pi of x, the distribution of zeros uh, 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 is, is needed. Uh, okay, <clears throat> let me say uh, some uh, further words about Riemann uh, hypothesis. Uh, uh, it uh, took attraction of numerous uh, very good mathematicians uh, and, and, and not only. Uh, and uh, up to now, uh, there are more than uh, 10 different formulation of Riemann hypothesis. Uh, I will uh, don't uh, reproduce uh, all of them. Um, the problem of Riemann hypothesis and uh, related problems is uh, written uh, in a good manner in uh, Wikipedia. Wikipedia is, uh, is um, uh, sometimes is a good source, sometimes not good. Uh, but in this aspect, uh, in the aspect of Riemann hypothesis, it is um, a good uh, source of, of information. Uh, and one of such uh, such. Uh, uh, equivalent uh, formulations of uh, Riemann hypothesis is that uh, is behavior of error term in uh, approximation for pi of x, namely that module of uh, difference between pi and approximate uh, approximant lie of x is of the order square root of x time logarithm of uh, of x. I will, um, perhaps I will uh, show how it uh, appears in, in some uh, specific problem. <clears throat> okay, uh, so the, the uh, third part, uh, uh, this is very, very selected um, uh, mention uh, how Zeta uh, and uh, Riemann hypothesis and distribu distribution of primes appears in, in physics. Uh, zeta uh, is not such um, popular uh, function as uh, say um, exponent or uh, 
uh, or uh, logarithm or trigonometrical uh, function, uh, uh, functions, which um, appears in uh, everyday uh, uh, action of uh, every physicist. Uh, but uh, zeta appears in natural manner in some places. Uh, for instance, uh, if you consider um, uh, Bose gas, both perfect and uh, imperfect, there is Bose function. Uh, this is a slight generalization of zeta of, of S. It is uh, sometimes also called um, by mathematicians as D logarithm. Uh, Casimir forces and and uh, some uh, another uh, expression. Uh, one uh, people also tracked uh, relation between uh, Riemann hypothesis and um, and um, and uh, Riemann hypothesis itself and, and physics. Uh, and uh, such a relation also uh, uh, is um, uh, obtained in quite a few places. Uh, perhaps most famous one is uh, Hilbert Polya conjecture, namely that <coughs> imaginary parts of uh, uh, zeros, uh, zeros of uh, zeta function, appear as eigenvalues of some uh, unbounded operator uh, uh, of physical uh, significance. Uh, there were numerous uh, attempts to find such uh, operator of physical significance. Uh, for instance, Barry and collaborators uh, um, wrote uh, uh, quite a few papers uh, uh, very interesting in, in this direction, but uh, finally didn't found this uh, such an operator. Uh, another direction is uh, the link between uh, zeta zeros of zeta and uh, and uh, uh, Gaussian unitary ensemble of random matrices, namely. Uh, Montgomery uh, found uh, and uh, relation, but this, this people, uh, Montgomery and Dyson, relation between correlation function between subsequent engine uh, eigenvalues of uh, uh, this ensemble of random matrices and correlation function of uh, imaginary parts uh, of, of, of uh, zeros. This is also um, a conjecture and, and not, uh, not proved so far. It appears uh, it appeared in the 70s. Uh, another link is uh, some similarity between uh, Lee and Young zeros of uh, partition function of uh, a certain class of Ising model in magnetic field. Uh, this uh, the zeros of ferromagnetic Ising model is <coughs> concentrated on uh, uh, on the circle in the uh, uh, plane of uh, complex magnetic field. By some uh, conformal transformation, you can uh, convert this into vertical line and uh, you can uh, consider impossible to find to find uh, easing model with is, uh, with um, zeros given in uh, these uh, uh, zeros of, of Z. Uh, there are uh, also another relations. Uh, this is uh, this is both uh, short and incomplete and incomplete review, but uh, I would like to. Uh, uh, say a few words about uh, some not explored uh, track as uh, unexplored as, as far as I know. Uh, 
uh, namely, it is a uh, link between distribution of primes and Ising model in a uh, magnetic field. Uh, Eitan Baruch is uh, a person uh, uh, known for, uh, for many people who considered Ising model. And uh, 40 years ago, uh, he um, uh, wrote down formal expression for partition function of two-dimensional Ising model in a magnetic field. Uh, this is uh, very involved and hard to even to check an expression, but uh, it, uh, it, it is. Um, perhaps it, it uh, would be useful for me to uh, and and uh, not only to uh, remind some very basic uh, facts about Ising model. Uh, let us uh, have um, the lattice, the simple cubic lattice in D dimension and let lambda will be subset of this uh, of this uh, lattice. Uh, and we have a Hamiltonian uh, governing the Ising model. As y is a random variable, uh, which uh, here takes two values, plus and minus one. And we have uh, sum over nearest neighbors. Ij are um, elements, uh, are sites belonging to, to lambda, to this set. Uh, this means that uh, we sum uh, over nearest neighbors. J is a coupling uh, constant uh, and minus uh, coupling uh, to magnetic field uh, uh, H. Uh, the uh, thermodynamic um, function, uh, basic thermodynamic functions are uh, partition function for this uh, finite uh, lambda. It is sum over all um, configurations of uh, spins uh, contained in lambda, uh, sum over exponents minus beta h uh, on, on this um, configuration. Uh, and uh, frequently one passes to a thermodynamic limit uh, and uh, free energy F uh, is given by the formula minus beta F is limit when, uh, oh, sorry, it should be that modulus uh, number of uh, um, sites in, uh, of lambda uh, when is uh, tending to infinity, one over lambda times yeah, the logarithm. I ask the question. Yeah. What, what actually you mean by arbitrary size of the lattice? Uh, it is. Um, I mean, how can one write the function as an arbitrary size of the lattice? If the lattice is finite, it, I mean, there are billions of different boundaries, and the partition function sits on the boundary. So, I mean, uh, how can you write the function, the explicit expression for the arbitrary size? I mean, there must be some in some mistake in that statement. Uh, okay, uh, uh, Baruch uh, considers um, the square uh, or even um, rectang rectangles in, uh, in, in Z2. Uh, so it's and not arbitrary lattice. <laughs> Uh, no, no, I, I didn't say that it is arbitrary uh, lattice. It is, um, it is uh, a square or rectangle with periodic boundary conditions. Uh, and uh, so, this so is. It has a bound, it's, it, in addition of being a square, it is a periodic boundary condition. And that's mm -hmm. the general yes. form of Mr. Bar. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. So, sorry for incomplete information, so, but, but it is. Addition, and, and it is always in an external magnetic field. Yes, yes, in external then, ma magnetic. Then, it, then, uh, then, the, then it's much easier to write it that it, without the magnetic field, for then this, the, the, this free energy is completely regal, completely smooth function. It doesn't have a phase transition. For the uh, isomodel, for the external magnetic field, doesn't have a phase transition. Therefore, this this expression is from the from 
from the statistical physical point of view, I mean, a, an object, but not particularly interesting. Thank you. Okay, uh, f f for the moment, uh, th there is no problem of, uh, of uh, phase um, uh, uh, transitions. Uh, some benchmarks uh, in uh, uh, obtaining of uh, solution of the zinc model. Uh, it should be uh, more precisely called uh, lens easing because it, it was invented by lens and uh, supervisor of PhD of easing, uh, but solved by easing in 1945, in, but uh, in dimension one. And uh, uh, in dimension two, it was solved uh, by Onzager uh, 20 years, uh, about 20 years later, but only for uh, external magnetic field equal to zero. And uh, uh, for uh, age different from zero and uh, larger dimensions, uh, it uh, hasn't been uh, solved uh, uh, so far. Uh, the Baruch expression is um, uh, is only. I don't think this is of any importance for the lecture, but the statement that it is that the Ising model for three dimensions, more than three dimensions, is not solved is not strictly correct, because for the Ising, Ising model for more than three dimensions, the mean field solution is an exact solution as we know from renormalization group techniques type for example. So we know, I mean, we, we have a solution for the easing model in more than three dimension because it is a mean field solution. Uh, okay, but this uh, this um, uh, mean field solution is, uh, as, as far as I know, uh, 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 it is only for critical properties, not uh, explicit uh, form of of, of uh, partition function or. or yes, but uh, but but um, but. Uh, explicit form of the free energy hardly ever an interesting issue by itself. I mean, what is important, why, why the free energy is important, uh, its exact form is if we want to study some uh, dramatic events like a phase transformations. I mean, the easing model does not serve any useful purpose in physics other than explaining a phase transition. No other physical property of anything is explained by the easing model in arbitrary dimension than the phase transition. Okay, thank you. Uh, okay, it depends of of uh, taste, uh, <clears throat> and the Baruch expression is conditional. It means that if you have expression for pi uh, of n, it is um, uh, nth uh, prime, uh, then you uh, uh, are able to write down the, this uh, solution. Uh, but uh, nobody has been able to pass to the thermodynamic limit uh, using Baruch uh, expression, uh, neither uh, pass to thermodynamic limit, not extract uh, large n asymptotics. Uh, Baruch um, uh, apparently would like to, to do it. Uh, this, uh, the last sentence of this paper was, we are actively pursuing this direction. But uh, as far as I know, he, he didn't uh, continue his work. Uh, but one can uh, think about reverse direction. Namely, imagine that you know uh, explicit solution of the Ising model uh, in the magnetic field. And would it be possible to reproduce pi of n or p of n? This is the question. This is. Uh, Sorry, so, uh, what is exactly the difference between pi of n and p of n? Can okay. you show it uh, once again? Uh, 
yes, um, 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 pi of n is expression for nth um, prime. So pi of um, one is, is one, pi of two is two, pi of three is three, pi of four is uh, five, and so on. Uh, and uh, um, and uh, this. Uh, uh, this I know. Okay, thank you. Okay. Uh, uh, Two-dimensional easing model hasn't uh, in magnetic field. I mean, uh, it is not uh, solved uh, so far. There is no explicit expression. Baruch uh, expression is a conditional one. Uh, but there is uh, available certain information concerning its uh, critical behavior of, uh, of, this, um, of this model. Uh, um, critical behavior, I mean, uh, in, in the sense that we, we are in uh, uh, critical temperature and uh, magnetic field is uh, different from zero. Uh, for instance, uh, uh, presumable be behavior of uh, free energy as a function of uh, the mag the magnetic field is different from zero. There is no truly speaking a critical temperature. I mean, if, if the magnetic field is different from zero, the transition between the anti or ferromagnetic order and paramagnetic phase is non-existing. So, I mean, what is meant the critical temperature for the age different from zero? Okay, to see here, it is, uh, uh, it is critical temperature for zero field magnetic. Uh, All right. Uh, such information come from uh, f from uh, quite a few uh, sources. One is uh, scaling relations uh, from conformal, uh, which are very useful, uh, but uh, still have uh, status of uh, hypothesis, except of large dimensions, uh, as far as I know. Um, f some Presumable be uh, such behavior comes also from conformal uh, field theory first uh, obtained by Zamolodchikov, uh, and also from exact solution uh, solutions of model. They are called dilute A3 model, in uh, which are presumably in the same universality classes as uh, magnetic uh, as. Um, um, as easing model uh, in uh, at, crit at critical zero uh, uh, field model, but uh, with non-zero magnetic field. Uh, there were obtained uh, by quite a, quite a few people uh, in. Uh, These are all the easing model with a spin one half. Yes, yes. For I mean, there are easing models for the higher values of spin. And yes. they have very different properties. Yes, yes, they are. They uh, have different property and, in particular, different uh, critical temperature. Uh, so we have um, uh, uh, one can pose a uh, uh, few uh, questions, but I know, uh, but I don't know how uh, much time I have because I. So actually, you should start to converge to the end, I think, because mm -hmm. it's one hour now. Uh, okay, so, so perhaps I will not not um, present uh, these uh, these questions in uh, in uh, details, but uh, the, the last uh, question, uh, general question, it is the following. Uh, using known critical properties of easing model, perhaps it would be possible to obtain large n asymptotic of pi of n. I don't know how how uh, uh, it, it it can be done, but uh, but uh, f during the presence of pi of n in uh, expression for uh, partition function of uh, easing model in magnetic field. Uh, I think that it 
uh, it could be possible. Uh, okay, so to summarize um, uh, uh, to uh, a few mentions about last, uh, some uh, re re relatively last news. Uh, there are um, appearing uh, claims about proofs or disproofs of uh, of uh, is uh, of um, Riemann conjecture. Uh, one of them was given by Atia, uh, very uh, um, a good mathematician, uh, three, about two years ago. He claimed that he proved uh, Riemann hypothesis, but uh, experts haven't confirmed this this uh, claim. Uh, he will be not uh, able to improve his arguments because he died um, a few months about this uh, claim. Uh, this is the same, but uh, but in uh, in uh, um, uh, Polish uh, taken some modified verses from from Delta in in seventies. Uh, more uh, recent uh, more recent news. There are. Uh, claim about proof in uh, uh, one half year ago and last, uh, as uh, which I know, the proof that um, claimed proof that Riemann conjecture is not uh, uh, true. Among them, uh, among the authors, I Marek uh, is Marek Wolf from uh, Wyszyński University. Uh, okay, the, the last, uh, these are uh, my basic sources. Uh, uh, during uh, uh, writing this um, presentation and trans and the, the last transparency or transparencia ostatnia in Polish, thanks uh, for your attention and patience. Hey, thank you very much uh, for uh, this talk. Uh, do we have uh, any questions or comments? I might mm. make a, some comment that this was a beautiful presentation of how the number theory uh, all over the sudden combines with the physical problems. Sure. So let me mention uh, unsolved completely number theory problem which pops out from even more uh, old fashioned physics, namely from a simple theory of metallurgy. Uh, the problem in a metallurgy is that if the crystal forms, its surface may be either very smooth or maybe become very rough. This is called the rough, roughening phase transition. And there is a particularly beautiful physical model for a roughening phase transition, which is called solid on solid model, mm -hmm. which consists of a, like in the Ising model or Ising model, which was discussed here, instead of two neighboring spins, which interact with each other, we have two columns of atoms, which mm -hmm. are going up next to each other, and the energy of the neighboring columns of atoms depends on the ratio, on the square of a ratio of the height of this, of these columns. Mm -hmm. And it turns out that this, this model, when the height of the column goes to infinity, depends very dramatically on whether the infinity is approached by the height, which is even number or odd number. Mm. And the problem boils down to the easing model because this SOS model for the even number of the heights of the columns maps on the easing model, two-dimensional easing model, but with the spin equal, the length of the spin equal to n, not to n half. And when the difference of the heights is the odd number, then it's an easy model in external magnetic field. This is one of the challenging problems also in the number theory, how to relate the temp critical temperature for the 
transitions mm -hmm. in this model to the all sorts of issues from the number theory, which I am not capable of even to comprehend. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Any thank you. Comment? Thank you for for this remark. Do we have any other questions or comments? Well, maybe I can ask uh, it just for out of sheer curiosity. Mm -hmm. I, it, usually, well, it, as, as far as I have uh, experienced, this uh, this function or this problem appears in statistical physics. Well, maybe there are other contexts, but that's my question. What's about is whether there are attempts to study this uh, problem in a sense of I don't know. Differential geometry or topology, something of this kind, mm -hmm. because I over ninety percent of what I remember is mostly in statistical physics, and I wonder if there are uh, other uh, ways to ask questions about this function. Uh, mm. With, with, with differential geometry and uh, uh, or, or, or topology, I I don't uh, I don't um, uh, I don't remember uh, something uh, certain at uh, at this moment. Um, but an, another another links uh, in this preprint by uh, Franca and uh, Leclerc. This is uh, some relation be, uh, between um, uh, how to say electrostatic um, problem. Um, uh, uh, electrostatics in, in two dimensions, or, or more, more precisely, um, theory of potential in, in two uh, dimensions. And, and uh, so, so you can uh, perhaps find some, some such links in, in this um, preprint. Okay, thank you. Okay. So maybe following the same line of uh, uh, reasoning, can you comment a little bit more about this uh, Poila conjecture that there are some uh, unbounded Hamiltonians such that their eigenvalues uh, have a distribution which agrees with the distribution of primes? And what are the Hamiltonians actually that mm -hmm. uh, Barry considered in this, uh, in this context? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Barry considered uh, uh, considered uh, such uh, operator roughly looking at uh, imagine that you have uh, two operators uh, uh, two basic basic operators uh, namely uh, x and uh, position operator and p uh, momentum operator uh, then uh, he considered uh, Barry and and Keating uh, considered uh, x uh, uh, pi plus uh, pi x and uh, and uh, he, and as far as I know, uh, the, the, uh, this um, spectrum uh, uh, looked like uh, very similarly to, uh, to um, zeros of, uh, of Riemann uh, uh, function, but, uh, but it was only similarity, not, not identicity. I'm afraid that I, I will not uh, say okay. more at, at this moment. <clears throat> Again, uh, th this is uh, uh, you, you can find uh, find more information in this uh, third uh, preprint also by Marek Wolf. Uh, will a physicist prove the Riemann uh, hypothesis? Uh, mm -hmm. There are uh, quite a few links. Uh, with so you also mentioned this paper on archive. Uh, also, uh, the co-author is Marek Wolf about. Uh, the fact that Riemann hypothesis hypothesis is not true. 
Uh, no, no, this is different. Uh, this is uh, this third. Uh, it is. Yeah, yeah. But uh, so I want to ask about this third paper, the, the one which you just showed uh, on, uh -huh. on the previous slide, uh, which mm -hmm. this somehow disproves uh, Riemann hypothesis. So someone found a zero which is not on the line one half, because I don't imagine how one can disprove this mm -hmm. hypothesis by without showing a zero which is not on this line. No. <clears throat> Uh, uh, at this moment, again, I will uh, not uh, respond uh, to certainly. Uh, this is uh, not um, uh, uh, this is not straight um, um, uh, proof. I uh, I tried to uh, to, to understand this. Uh, um, um, paper, but uh, uh, but but uh, at this moment I, I cannot uh, say that I uh, <coughs> understood. Okay. Can I, I explain? Can I explain? I am Marek Wolf here. Ah, okay. I, 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 I don't oh, see hand nice. to to to, uh, to show hand that I want to talk, namely. Uh, the proof is uh, by contradiction. Maybe we show that there is, a, if we assume that Riemann hypothesis is true, then there is a contradiction with so called strong universality theorem. These strong uh, universality, universality theorems are well established facts. There are at least two books about the whole series of such theorems. So uh, we show that. But th those theorems concern what? Strong universality of what? Of zeta function. Oh, there was okay. a big, uh, there, there was a big uh, event in seventies of last century when uh, Soviet uh, mathematician Voronin showed that the Riemann zeta function is universal in some sense that uh, some regular functions can be approximated by zeta functions in some region in the critical stream. You know that. If you have uh, some regular function f of s, s is usual notation for complex variable, then you will show you will find uh, such a shift of this. Uh, originally, it was in the circle. Yeah, that there is a circle in the critical strip, and you have some regular function defined on this uh, circle f of s, and uh, that theorem states that. You can find such a shift of the circle that zeta function inside of these circles approximates this function f of s uniformly up to arbitrary epsilon. Mm -hmm. And strong theorem is that there are infinitely many such shifts. And you do so we showed that uh, there is a contradiction. In fact, there is we got an email that there is a, a mistake in our paper. It, it was uh, based on some facts that uh, um, that the modulus of uh, derivative of zeta functions is horizontally positive. And uh, the terms that uh, show that it is positive, in fact, cancel exactly to zero. There were a lot of such coincidences in the history of zeta function that something was dependent on some very small number. And in fact, we needed that this derivative is positive, but uh, all terms that we calculated, in fact, cancel exactly to zero. Now we are trying to improve this. And we hope that uh, we'll be able, we will be able to improve, to improve this calculation. Okay, but currently with this mistake, uh, uh, the proof is not complete. It's Just not complete. It's only this idea. Okay. Mm -hmm. Idea, idea. Mm -hmm. Just to so Jonathan Sobos. Riemann holds. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. How to say? Uh, political correctness demands that. Uh, the Riemann hypothesis is true. Yeah, we, we should believe that it is true. 
So our result is in some sense politically incorrect. But I, I have to say that there were a few big mathematicians which were uh, not believing in the Riemann hypothesis. Uh, Erdes called such mathematicians pagans. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. So I, I just think we are. Think. Uh, okay. I can at least hope that it's not like a continuum hypoth hypothesis where it's neither true or false. <laughs> I think there are many theorems which actually rely on the correctness of the Riemann hypothesis. Mm -hmm. And that's why uh, yeah. mathematicians uh, really want it to be true because otherwise a lot of results <laughs> suddenly will I, become I'm, not true. I'm completely <laughs> sure that if ever Riemann hypothesis will be proven to be incorrect, then in the future history, there will be this famous false Riemann hypothesis. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and, I, and I think I'm, I'm afraid I will die with the hope that the Riemann hypothesis is, is correct. Okay, so I, I can mention four names of, of uh, famous mathematicians which uh, did not believe Riemann hypothesis is true. First was Littlewood, next uh, Alan Turing, uh, Paul Turan, and Atle Zerberg. I have mm. references where you can find that it is written or you can hear in the lecture on the YouTube that uh, this four men did not believe Riemann hypothesis but, is true. But belief of great scientists are often not really a sufficient proof of anything. There have been lots of great scientists who did not believe in the quantum mechanics and relativity theory. <laughs> With quantum mechanics, truly famous one. Yeah, I mean, there's lots of them. Quantum mechanics. Okay. okay. So perhaps we should finish uh, and thank once again to yes. our speaker for this beautiful talk.